Good morning. And welcome to Morning Coffee in Kyoto. Today brought to you by the Camp Zama Main Street Expresso mug. I still don't know why it's called Expresso. I think I'll say that every time I see this mug. Um, excuse me. Yesterday, I kind of fast-paced told the journey of getting to my house when we came. Um, I wanted to reiterate after listening to myself in that video. Um, planning. Like, I made it seem like all that stuff just happened, but it didn't. Like, man, I planned that stuff. I called friends. I called homestay families. I called around Tokyo for babysitters. I called my, um, contracting organization. I talked to my predecessor. I called, I emailed, I, I did all kinds of stuff to, in order to fix all of that and to get it all together. And I say called because I did have to call at some points because, um, people weren't answering their emails fast enough and it was taking them like days to answer. So I would stay up late and, um, call long distance to make the phone ring in their office in Tokyo and be like, Hey, did you get my email? And then then be like, Oh yeah. And then, Oh, here, I saw your application because I really needed to make sure everything was going to happen. Cause you literally only have um, four or five weeks to get all this stuff done. And I needed to make sure someone was watching my kids. Um, I will put a note in here in the beginning of the video. You do not have to travel with your kids. I get, I think I haven't talked about that. Um, if you don't want your kids to come with you on that initial journey, if you have family that can bring your kids to you later, um, that has been an option in the past. Now that was not an option for me because of, I, I won't leave my kids. Um, I can't. <laughs> Um, my older one now that she's a lot older, I might be able to feel less, what's the word, trepidatious, um, <laughs> nervous about letting my kids travel with somebody else. But, um, when my kids were that young, younger than six, like, nope, they were coming with me. Um, I wasn't going to leave them with anybody else and have them bring them, um, so it, it wasn't an option. I had I had to have my kids with me. Um, if, though, you have family and you're comfortable with your kids traveling with other people, you'll find that many people urge you to do this. In fact, I can't tell you how much everyone else was urging me not to travel with my kids. They wanted me to have some other family member or other person bring my kid later. It actually wasn't feasible. My parents were an awful lot older. Um, and like my immediate family, my sibling, like they're, um, not able to leave their job and my husband's sibling like couldn't leave their job and was in a different state. So like that doesn't work. Um, there was no one and I had no friend that could just, because when you travel to Japan, like it's not like it's flying to, you know, another state. Or like a quick trip um, that takes two or three hours. It takes a full day to get there, especially from Florida. It takes about 24 hours. So you're out two days to get there and back. And then it's not like you can just hand the kids over and leave. Um, it's going to be layovers. It's going to be all kinds of other stuff. And that's like, good Lord, two 24-hour days. You want to have some like downtime. In the middle, yeah, it just, it was going to be a week or two out for somebody, and that just wasn't possible. So, kids had to go with me. Um, and it worked out well, and I planned all that stuff to make sure it was okay. So, I wanted to say all that. Wow, that took a while. All right. So, the end of the story yesterday, I was there. I got to my house, finally. So, it's like... The second week of August, though, starting the second week of August, because we got there, we were group B, so we got there the first week of August. So second week of August, I got to go to work. Um, yes, 
you have days off. You have what's called an NQ. However, as a parent, I knew I wanted to take my kids on trips. I knew I wanted to um, do some traveling. I mean, if I burned all of my NQ right away there in August, you know, there was no way that I would have any time off later. So I found out right when I landed that I had five days of Obon holiday that I could use. So we looked at the schedule and we decided to take off the third week of August since we both had five days that we could take off. So then that second week of August, we both needed to go to work. So this is when I tapped into my homestay family. So we traveled to where my homestay family lives here in Kansai and we stayed there with the kids and my homestay mom had a really great time driving them all around and taking them everywhere. She had instant new grandbabies to play with <laughs> and um, we drove, we rode on the train all the way from their house to work every day and all the way back. Um, and that was a bit expensive, but it was worth it for the free babysitting. Then we hugged and said goodbye and said, we'll come visit you soon. And we do visit them all the time. So I can't wait for a break in this COVID so I can go and visit them again soon. So then we spent that week and then the third week we took off um, with our special holidays. And then the fourth week, um, another friend from Nara came and she stayed with us for a week. Um, it was her summer vacation time because she was a Juku teacher and she had some time off. So she hung around with us in Kyoto and during the day we went to work. And during the nights, we all went out and hung out in different places and played. And she had a really fun time hanging out with the kids. And I thanked her profusely and gave her a giant pile of presents because she wouldn't take any money. So I had friends. And that's how I got through. Um, the next week was the first days of September. And so on September 1st, um, the kids could start the nursery school. Now, the first day, they could only go for two hours. So my husband took off for the rest of the day and picked them up after the two hours. The next day they could go for um, uh, the morning up until lunch. And so I went and picked them up after that day. And then the day after that they could go um, six hours. And so my husband went and picked them up after that. And the following day they could go for the full day. And as long as they were okay with that from then on out. And man, my kids like took to it like just so easily. They were so excited after staying in our house for a month. They were like, oh my gosh, this place with all kinds of people that will be friends with us and we can play together. And oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's so exciting. Yay! Um, they were just super happy to have new playmates and a place to go every day. Um, and then we were done. The kids were in school. We were working. We took them there before our work in the morning and picked them up after their after school. And we were set. There were problems. Um, of course, the two-year-old was okay, even though she couldn't speak Japanese because, you know, two-year-olds be two-year-olds and she didn't really speak English very well anyways. So it was all good. But the five-year-old, she had some adventures. Um, and I'll probably talk about those in a separate video. Um, there weren't any problems like that we had to like leave work and go get them, but, um, there were some, some interesting times, <laughs> but all was good. And, um, that's kind of it. That's kind of the whole adventure of finding out we got accepted, going through all of the interviews, figuring out how to get them here, figuring out what to do with them while they were here. Go, 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 go. Um, that was it, you know, like that was the adventure. It took tons of planning. Um, if you're thinking of doing this and you find out you are going to be in Kyoto, please send me a comment or fill out my contact form. I'd love to help you out. Um, if you're not in Kyoto, um, I would event, I would say to find people who are in your prefecture and start asking about babysitting. There might be someone else with kids there. Um, you just have to figure out what you're going to do for that first month. Um, 
After you get going, you'll be fine, though. Good luck. Let me know if you have any questions. And good to be finished with this story. We'll tell some more stories later. Have a good day. Man. <sighs> My brain is not completely awake in the morning. <laughs> probably make these videos welcome to morning after coffee in Kyoto so I could at least think 